Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, I'm Tom Rouse and today is a start of a new series, hopefully I'm going to do this every Wednesday and I'm going to call it Wolves Wednesdays. What I'm going to try and do is talk about things that have happened in the Wolves aside from the games. I think at the moment all I've focused on is the re a review and a preview of each game and today I'm going to start now talking about gossip, transfer rumours, my thoughts on the team going forward and anything else. So if you want to see more of these then don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know as well in the comments what you think about what I'm talking about. So the first thing I've got on my agenda today is Andreas Weiman and the reports are that we are going to try and sign him in the summer from Derby for one and a half million pounds. Now I think that as we stand now that he's a good option for us to buy. Although I think really we need to be looking for somebody who has scored 20 or 30 goals. 30. We need to we need to get somebody who can score 20 goals consistently in a season if we're going to seriously look at promotion next season. He's a good striker, Vyman. I think he's worked really well with Costa and Cavaliero and he's, he can play in out wide as well, which gives us that extra option of all three of those front players uh, interchanging. So signing him wouldn't be bad because of his the way we can utilise him, but I think we need to be looking as well for somebody who's a proven goal scorer in the Championship. Another rumour that I've heard this week is that Helder Costa could be leaving us in the summer. Reports are that Arsenal and Chelsea have been looking at him and we've slapped a £20 million price tag on him. It is something that I pointed out a long time ago when, when he first signed his contract. It felt as if we'd only signed him to try and make a bit of profit on him. Not that we have to nowadays with the backing from Fosun. His form dropped a lot since then, which could work in our favour in the long run. I hope he stays because I think next season with him and Cavaliero and a striker, I think we could really do some damage in the Championship. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but hopefully he stays. In terms of injury news, it sounds like Graham and Zyro are close to fitness and it'd be great if we could see them before the end of the season. There's nine games left. Even if it's just off the bench a couple of times, I think they sh last season they were probably our two biggest stars for that short period that they played. So hopefully next season that'll give us more options, more attacking options, more wide options. And next season's gear enough to be quite good if we can just put a few things in the right place. And another rumour that I've heard is that Bakary Sacco has been linked with us to return. Now I have been asked this before and I do not want to see him back. Not, I've got nothing against him. I think he was great those couple of seasons in League One and then our first season back in the Championship. But I think we need to move on now and the options that we've got out wider, for me, a much higher quality than Sacco. Sacco would be good for sh very, very brief spells and then would go missing. Whereas I think Costa and Cavaliero are more influential in the game, whereas Sacco was more impact. Now, saying that, the rumours being that he's going to come in on loan, to me, I don't see the benefit of that for us or for him. He's also been linked with Blues or Derby for a £4 million uh, price tag. And for his career, I think that's the sort of level that he's at, mid-table championship, pushing towards the playoffs. That's his level and I hope he goes there rather than come to us for his own good because he'll just stagnate and he won't play. And he's already had two seasons now at Palace not playing and he doesn't need that with us now. And the final piece of transfer gossip that I've been seeing around is the new Talisca. If you were following the Wolves in the summer you would have been well aware of the story of Anderson Talisca. Every single day there was a story that Talisca's agent was in Wolverhampton or Talisca's he's just passed his medical or he's flying from Benfica to Birmingham airport he's been seen it or every single day there was some story but never came to fruition and in the end he went to Besiktas on loan from Benfica now we've got a new story boys and girls a player from Galatasaray called Bruma he's Portuguese he's 22 and we are going up against Tottenham and Man United to sign him. £20 million is his price tag. To me, he doesn't stand out as being an exceptional player. I haven't looked on YouTube to watch him, but I've looked at his statistics. He's played 13 games this season. He's scored five goals and three assists. Doesn't shout £20 million player, does he? So I hope we don't go and waste money on him, to be honest. I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to check back on Friday for my preview of the Cardiff match on Saturday. There'll also be a review of the game later on Saturday evening. Next week, here, 
On a Wednesday, I'm going to be talking about where do Wolves need to strengthen in the summer to push for a promotion next season. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. And have a lovely week. Bye-bye.